Hi guys, I don't know if the freeze frame opener in the opening has grabbed your attention or not. Well, this is what we are going to share with you today. In the following two episodes, we will be showing you how to create this effect. And if you want to try this look, then free download VidPro Vlogger through the link we put in the description box down below. Then get started with us. Launch VidPro Vlogger. Create a new project. First, we need a few video clips along with some background image and a piece of music that match your atmosphere. Next, drag the music into the audio track first. Use a split tool to add it. Then, add a fade effect to it. This completes the music processing. Now we drag the video clips into the video track in turn. Drag and drop them directly to adjust their duration. Then, we move the playhead to the middle of one clip. Click split to split the clip into two parts. Find the camera icon at the top of the preview window. Here, in order to create a coherent freeze frame effect, we need to generate a screenshot of the frame where the cut was made. Click on it. This can quickly create a screenshot. Now, we go back to our interface. Drag a background image to this position. Adjust the duration. And this is the freeze frame effect that we will be working on later. Drag the playhead here again. We use the same method to generate the screenshot. Then drag another background image to the timeline. Now we're done with the rough cut. To make the transition between clips smoother and better fit the tone of the video, we go to the top left. Find the transitions icon. Click on it to open the panel. There we can find a selection of presets to work with. And the glitch memory transition is very appropriate for the rock mode here. So we drag it to the timeline. Adjust the duration of the effect. We then add a proper amount of glitch memories transition to the latter part. This completes the initial edit. Now, let's search and find this website to do the king. Well, this is not a sponsor. We drag the snapshot we just saved here. Wait for the program to process. And we will be able to see the removed background image. Click on download to finish your king. Of course, you may come across this pretty poor result when king, and it will lead to make some adjustments. Click edit to enter this interface. Click on erase panel. Here, we first use a brush to erase this guy. Then, adjust brush size, enlarge your view, and we we'll work on the rest. When we are done, click on Download. Next, we import the two kit characters into the software. Drag one of them into the overlay track first. 
adjust its position and duration to align with the background image on the video track. Then find Transform Area in Inspector. Click on the height to make it fit your screen. After that, drag in the second picture of the character to the corresponding position. Add it in the same way. To make the video more dynamic and work-like, let's go to the top left and find the Effects icon. Click on it to open the panel. Here we have three presets that we can use for the video. They are contrasty, disturb, and glitch. So we add them in different places on the timeline. For example, add a glitch effect here and adjust the duration of it. Note that the duration should not be too long. Then we drag a disturb effect to here. Again, adjust the duration to the right length. In the place of the freeze frame effect, I want to stack double effects. So find the plus icon at the far left of the effect track. Click on it to add a new track. Then drag the glitch effect and the contrast effect to different tracks to give more deflation to this part. You can also add different effects to your video based on your preference. But don't overdo it or make it too intense. Now we have the effect. Alright, this is all for today's video, and in the next video, we'll show you more tips that you can dig in to improve the freeze frame opener. So stay tuned for that. And we'll see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.